welcome to my channel my name is amita singh and this is part 7 of elastic search this sets this session is continuation of my previous session uh part 6 uh there i was talking about uh, query dsl so i'll be continue uh, i'll be continuing this that session so before proceeding with the session please subscribe my channel you can press the subscribe button you can also press the bell icon to get the notification so let's start with today's session uh, the query dsl and the definition blah 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 which i have already explained you two type of clauses you are very very much familiar with this if you have watched my previous session and i will not go through these all kind of theoretical part if you want to know you can go through this and you can read it out also you can read it in the internet wherever you want now in the pre my previous session i have taken these matched queries now i today in today's session i'll be taking this query string query so let's start with the query string query on the kibana so here i have a uh, one index in which i have these many fields and i'll be performing query string query on that i'll be showing you how it works so inside the query we have query string query which needs a default field you can give anything you want suppose the first name you want to give okay see the query string call query always break the value in a string be make sure your fields are the text format next thing we have something called default operator by default it is or or means suppose i am writing sub source searching new york it will give me all the results having new all the result having york all the result having new york so it would i would preferring you like to use and condition while searching something so now start like write mm -hmm. olivia olivia um olivia brown olivia john i have something some result search with and condition and we will be searching it again with or condition with and condition you got only one result with or condition now you can see how many result you will get for result means what i said it will take these two as a, with or condition now this is what about, it's all about the default field means while i'll be taking only single field suppose i uh, i have a scenario in which i have a column which contains two fields coming from two columns i have a, like in a ui part i have a two fields all together then what will i be writing i'll be right i'll be writing it as a as a fields i'll be giving it as a array inside that array i will be taking the two field all together first name last name this is what i'll do now um this is the scenario if if you want to go into deep dive of this scenario you can watch my video on elastic search in depth where i have explained everything uh, with uh one table one example you can watch this my first video of uh, elastic search you'll get to uh, first and second both you'll get to know why i'm using this all together what is what could be the case what could be the scenario this is what so here i am the taking all this together and i am expecting these olivia john should come the first name or last name i i have given here or no i don't want a or condition i want and condition so i have only one uh, one record which contains this thing now i have some i have a, like this is a field which is also already a string kind okay suppose um make it as a default field suppose i have field like age like a user id which is a which is a integer type then what will i do i have to give the i have to make the integer type field into text type so i have to first check the mapping whether in the mapping this integer type has been you know allowed to take the text or not yes it is allowed because uh, the query string query always take string kind of uh, you know fields so in the age i will be taking the age dot text only then it will work 
suppose that my age uh, it's starting with three I'll if I'll try to search I will get the results suppose you're removing this text from here it will not give me anything it will show me in some error okay so in the integer kind of things kind of uh, fields you have to give dot text first you have to check in the mapping whether you have the text or not if not you have to change the mapping this is the only solution so this is all about today's session of query string query uh, hope you like this session please press thumbs up if you like the session and uh, in the next session I'll be taking the term query how uh, the query in the query DSL how we use the terms query term so that's all for today's session thank you for watching please subscribe my channel